Hey everybody, welcome back. We're getting ready to go into our night mission. Uh, so this is this is the night mission we're going. We're flying out with uh, uh, Marina Raskova, the major. Uh, so this is literally like the Amelia Earhart slap meets Captain America of the Soviet Union of women. Um, she is the best pilot ever. Uh, <laughs> basically, that who's ever been. Uh, I don't know. She she's she's uh, risen through the ranks. Um, through it, any types of adversity, and set up and established the 588th, as well as two other groups, um, the Women's Fighter Regiment, the 586th, and the 587th, which is something else I don't remember. But uh, you're you're the third branch of her three things she got set up. Um, so the last one. Yeah. Uh, let me bring up the mission. So here we go. So, uh, under the tutelage of Major Rina Raskova herself, a night flying exercise culminating in a live bomb attack on targets arranged uh, on either bank of the Tsina River. Uh, it's simulating a bridge. Uh, so, we're, we're gonna, so this mission will be subtitled A Bridge Too, too Near. Um, potential enemy fire is damage from ordnance dropped too low. So, hey everybody. Um, so we're gonna cut to. There's no wayfinding mission, net, uh, wayfinding check necessary for this mission, because this place is pretty close by. Um, you're flying well within range. This is your first night bombing mission, um, so it's more about learning how to do an attack run at night uh, than um, anything. Okay. So uh, you guys, you guys, planes take off. Uh, wait, wait. Are we doing assignments? Plane assignments? Uh, I thought they were. No, they're gonna be the same. Are they? Okay. Um, I mean, we can. Um, were there any yeah, last-minute I mean, changes? It's going to be exactly the same. That's cool. I would like to say for the for going forward, um, because now I know the thing about wayfinding. When wayfinding does become important, is it fine if I switch the order of navigator or pilot? I would prefer you do that now, right? Because... Yeah, that's kind of why I brought it up. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, don't but don't look at me. That would be something that, that your section leader would be responsible about. Your section leader is one who assigns squads, and your section leader... Yeah, that's oh, okay, so that's still me. Yeah. All right, so I can do that. All right, I'm just making sure I have the agency to do that. Yes. Um, There's a question um, when it comes to, like, games, the, like, how the game runs. So if we're, like... I hear, I remember last time you guys saying something like they can't... NPCs can't make that role, they can't do that thing. So, like, if we're, like, out on a mission and we need to, like, have a wayfinding check happen or have to be a navigator or we're fucked a bit. yeah so like if we sp yep let ourselves up every time that just means whenever we have to like if we have to make a wayfind or an attack run depending on which one the pc is in the place in we're just fucked that's how the game works. apparently and yeah. i didn't know that going in so knowing that now um i'm going to switch myself to navigator so that i can wayfind check okay well, Euro will not be the pilot. I will now be the navigator of the twenty-two. Once again, um, there's no navigator check necessary for this one. Right, I know, but I wanna I wanna have this down now so that when we do come up to a point where there is wayfinding, that's not something that we have to correct on the fly. Got it. Okay, sure. Um, Tamara, Tamara's <laughs> like, are you sure? Uh, I thought you liked flying. Um, I think I kind of like look up and down the plane, and I'm like, I. <laughs> yeah. No offense, but I don't really want to be the one responsible for wrecking this beauty if it ever happens. You, you know how it is. And I kind of like, I kind of give her a nervous laugh, like, I'm kind of kidding about this, but I'm kind of not. She kind of, she looks at you weird. She's like, just get in the plane. <laughs> you know? I, think um, I, I climb into my spot and I'm like, whatever you say, pilot. Yeah, cool. Um, do you keep anything, uh, this this goes for all of you. Um, do you guys keep anything in sort of like your the dash of your plane yet or anything? Is there anything like you customized? Um, I think I probably keep a flask. Okay. Although cool. it's now up front with Tamara, but yeah, she pro she probably hands like when you say that like she probably hands you back the flask. She's like, hey, you want this? Um, I'm probably like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just I need that. It's just it's important. She says too bad. She takes a swig of it and keeps it. <laughs> oh shit! All right. Um, I don't think it was that dire anyway. <laughs> Look at me. I'm pilot now. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I give her like a very fake so I'm yeah. like whatever you say man I'm just you know yeah awesome uh, I think if anything uh, <laughs> I think I think what I've done is I I just like wrote 
on like a piece of paper and like stuck it in where the navigator sits. I just put little B to see if Olga would react to my nickname. Okay. Oh yeah, she doesn't know that you named it little B. Yeah, so I've I've just done that and I like leave it back there so that if if she has any thoughts, she can discuss them. She doesn't say anything yet. Um, What about uh, Natasha? What about you? Is anything different or unique about your plane? Yeah, I completely regulation. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so yeah, about like midway through the, you guys all take off. You know, you're in you're in your formations, uh, sections of three. So you're like you're in like a diamond formation. So like three three planes of three in each of the points of the diamond, basically, right now, um, with uh, Marina Raskova lead with the lead plane at the at the point of the diamond. Um, you guys all know like the location of the map. Like we 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 zipped past the normal briefing, but you guys had your briefing, um, and. Uh, it is it is more cloudy than you thought it would be. Um, the, there's a cold April uh, fog this evening. Um, it's kind of chill. It's chilling you guys all as the dampness just seems to kinda just soak through your your leather and your and your cold gear. Um, but you guys make it to make it to the target, and um, Marina, Marina's group. Uh, you guys kind of like idle above as Marina's group goes down. Um, and she sort of sort of gives the, the example and sets like the perfect shot, um, like right in the middle of the bridge, uh, quote, you know, simulated bridge, um, and and everyone else follows suit uh, until it's eventually uh, your section's lead air uh, lead aircraft's turn. So, so do this- we actually get a wayfind roll here, or is it no. literally only the last mission there's as a l- wayfind? Literally, there's no wayfinding. If we're supposed to do both a bomb drop and a wave finding, we can only wave find on one mission. This mission is within like a red circle of the thing. Maybe they're supposed to be wave finding. Maybe I fucked up. It's nighttime and it's foggy. Fuck it. We got the wave find. How about that? Because I would hate to go to the last mission and fail and then be like, your character's dead because they're shipped back to Moscow and they yeah. aren't in the Air Force anymore. That's fine. That's an oversight by moi. All right, so you do I want me to wa- make a wayfind? Yeah. No, I'm the lead plane, right? I'm the but lead you plane. can't make the wayfind. You're uh, section it. section leader. I uh, thought we got swapped. No, I got swapped. I switched myself. Only swapped herself. Not yeah. us. Yep. So you, you're myself going back. to destroy our characters with the thing I literally just said, which is make it so that we can never make a wayfind. Got it. I can make a wayfind. All of us have to make a wayfind and an attack roll to graduate. Um, we can do that last next time too. Yeah, that's my point. Is that we're gonna put it all on the next roll of the dice? Yeah. Great. Apparently. All right. <laughs> Fuck it. It's worth it. <laughs> do it. Um, I can't pull from the mission pool for this, can I? Yes, you can. You can. But you, can. you can do that after your roll. Okay. Uh, then I'm doing this with a plus one and. Yeah, pulling from the mission pool. Uh, then just one from the mission pool to pull that up to a partial success. To a six? Uh, to a seven? To a seven. There's no point in bringing it higher than max I can get us. Oh, so you have a plus two? It, you, you rolled straight dice, so I don't know what your bonus was. I had... No, I rolled straight dice plus one, which is a six. No. You rolled a four. You got a four and a one. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Four there, I, one, I didn't five. scroll down all the way. Uh, yeah. So I saw you got a four for your first two d six. No, it was did, a four and a yeah. one plus one, so six. Yeah, and, and then, then and you're pushing it up to a seven. Awesome. Bring okay. it up to a seven. Uh, so that means something bad happens for your moves. Uh, let me bring up night moves. Um, sure. It's just, when uh, you way find, when you way find, um, at night you roll skill. Um, mm, on a ten plus, uh, you find it. On a seven and nine, you find it, but you choose a consequence. Your plane suffers a mechanical failure. Um, you have to do an enemy fire roll, or you're stressed and bang around, and you split two harm with you and your. Uh, when, uh, I'm just gonna do co-pilot. the stressed and banged around. Um, How do you split the two harm? Put the harm between us. Yeah, one on each. Okay, <laughs> it's, rather it's do that. all the harm to that. Uh, fiction. Sure. Uh, fictionally, this this uh, fictionally, I think the harm would be either stress or it could also be the cold. 
I think um, I think it's a combination of both and just being like, I am the navigator, this is my job, I'm in front of the major, this is freaking me the fuck out. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's cold as fuck, you can't, actually can't yeah. see because it's foggy. Um, and I think my stress is making Tamra stressed and it's yeah. just like, it's it's weighing on both of us yeah. and we're both You're, like having... You guys, can, you guys can almost hear your teeth chattering over the sound of the droning airplane lawnmower engines. You know, mm. like it's that cold. Um... Yeah, sure. Okay, so go ahead and split two harm. So each of you got one harm. Right. Um, awesome. So then, but you guys make it to the target. Yeah. So now we need to do some attack runs. So. This game to me in one sentence is something bad happens. Yeah. Pretty uh, much. I mean, yeah. isn't that isn't that the the joke about uh, Russian history? Is is you always say, and then it got worse. <laughs> So. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Um, awesome. Uh, lead plane's making the first attack, right? Yes. Yeah. Lead plane. Natasha. Yeah. I mean... Your signal to make the attack run. It's it's night, it's foggy, and I immediately break formation and do, like, some barrel roll shit to go... You know, like, I roll the plane, and then as it's rolling, I dive... And I'm just going to go super low and drop them bombs as low as possible. The Germans will never see me coming. Even though, in this case, the Germans are literally, like, five Russian gunners, right? No, that... uh, it's, it's, um, bon. it's, bon. it's like, uh, oil fires, like drum fires. Set okay. up to mop, yeah. that looks like a bridge. I'm going so low. Wouldn't that be risking injury if you fuck this up? Yes. Sure. I'm just saying, do you want to fly that low? <laughs> yeah, I do. And I'm going to okay. take a plus one from the mission pool. There's one mission I pool left. On that mission pool. I deserve this. And I'm going to drop that bomb perfectly. And then I'm going to keep climbing up. And then I do one of those planes stall out, fall backwards, and peel out of it looking beautiful, and then hook myself back in a formation. No one sees you in the cloud cover, do I this. know. It's fine, because you know who does see me? Maria. And Ma she knows I'm literally the baddest of asses. You are. I so did it so you, di <laughs> you did do it. You, your attack run is probably on par with uh, ma the Major Raskovas. Um, you, you have the, the almost supernatural ability to push the plane to its limits, um, for better or worse. Word. Um, you're playing fucking, you know, it redlines all the time. <laughs> uh, okay. That's only because I'm hitting the NOS that I <laughs> custom installed. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna make a Fast and the Furious <laughs> reference. <laughs> but, uh, that's, that's pretty good. Okay. That's great. Awesome. So that was a success. Nice. Um, so I get a plus one because I'm with my plane, right? You do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Having regard for my plane's nice until it dies. And then you die, basically. Eight. So, it's going to have to be an unfortunate series of things. Um, did you add? Do you not have the uh, guts? I don't have. I have zeros across the board. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, that's, so I mean, that's you add, the one you I chose. One the regard. Yeah. Um, you should actually be adding a plus one. Because I think you're acting. Um, I'm not. Sh I would say fictionally, this would um your your uh, eyeball would apply to this. Your plus one forward. Oh wait, no, that's for that scene. Never mind. I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm, it's, I'm, yeah. I'm okay. getting kind of sleepy. Sorry. That's right. Um, my bad. You're good. Okay. Uh, so you got it. You got a nine, um, which means you get a six. Well, I got an eight. Or you got an eight, but you get a partial. Um, yeah, let me look at the night moves. So look at the night moves, and you're going to be choosing uh, one of these on the attack run. Uh, choose two consequences. Choose two consequences? Yeah. Okay. Um, what, what does it mean when we're marked? Uh, so on the back of your sheet, uh, on your character sheet, um, there are a list of checkboxes. And when you check one off, then you get to describe it for us. Or if you want to wait, if it makes more sense later on, like, for example, take a lover... Uh, would be an example, Mark, that you could grab. Uh, you might want to hold off on that one. 
mm -hmm. we could work with you. If, so if you get marked, um, just hold off for now, and we'll work at it um, another part. Okay. Okay. Let me sure. look at the other okay. options again. Um. I think I choose. So the, yeah. Um, so the damage you is fly not through the storm. You fly through the storm of flak, and you are you and your fellow air woman are marked. Ooh, awesome. Okay. Those are the two I pick. Yes. Okay. Um, so that means you have uh, this triggers enemy fire, which your technically your navigator would roll. So mm -hmm. I would leave that up to um, to Nick. Right, because you did navigator. Oh, okay. So I'm making the navigator check on it. Or everything. yeah, if you don't mind. Okay, and enemy fire is do, 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 do. Uh, luck. luck. I think I. Oh, but a... no, this is um, this would just be straight dice. Straight I don't, dice. I don't, okay. I don't. I don't think. Um, I don't think your copilot has a, any extra luck than you. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is referring to Olga. Six. Mm -hmm. Borrowing one again from the mission pool. Bring that up to a seven. <laughs> Well, at the end um, of it anyway. So, so you brought it up to a seven, which is really good. I'm really glad you guys got that mission pool. Um, yep. <laughs> so, uh, your plane's damaged, or well, your plane. So, so currently, you you dropped to maybe too low, and some of the uh, the damage from the bombs uh, is a is a repercussion on your plane. Um, so you're so you're basically hit by by like the the. Uh, Concussive blast of the bomb, uh, rattling your plane. Um, go ahead and choose two of these consequences. Um, granted, uh, keep in mind your your co pilots can do what's called vetamaya, which is something we haven't discussed. Uh, vetamaya means when you uh, when you you can basically assume uh, or like kind of like volunteer to soak one of the problems from a, a role that one of your fellow uh, pilots um, takes. You basically take a consequence for yourself or your aircraft. Gotcha. But um, go ahead and choose two of these uh, listed consequences under enemy fire. Uh, you and your fellow airwomen are marked, so you would end up taking ultimately two marks from this mission. Uh, there's casualties on board. Uh, you split five harm, however you like, um, which also triggers a wheels down move when you're returning to base. Your plane is damaged, which triggers a wheels down move, or another plane in your section goes down. Um, do you want me to choose these, or Nick to choose these? Oh, uh, I can choose to take one if I want, but I'm debating. No, uh, you have to choose them, uh, okay. so, Anya. Um, then I will pick... Um, planes damaged, marked again. So your planes damaged and you're marked. Yep. Ooh. So I take two marks. Okay. I will spend my hold to take that mark. Okay. In his stead. All right. Um. Your plane, your plane seems fine for now, Anya. As you recover, it seems to be okay. Sweet. Uh, no, I'm okay. Think... <laughs> hmm. This is like one of those things when you accidentally spill water on your computer and it's still running, and you don't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll um, my... So it's terrifying. Uh, I think I'm just going to take Advance and Grow. Okay. For my mark. Um, I well, think... Well, hold on to it. Well, let's hold on to it until we get back to base. Is that okay? okay? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. that's fine. So we're, we'll, we'll finish this, because I want to see the wheels down, and then we'll go from there. Mm, okay. Because there might be another chance for Vetamias. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, that'd be um, on AP. I'm curious if anyone saw this, this uh, your attack run. Uh, I think other planes in, in in the other sections probably saw this happen to you, Anya. But I'm not sure if doing the um, 
the super fancy flying of uh, of Natasha if she saw it. I'm leaving that up to uh, AP. Um, as just as well, I'm going. To, I, I'm going to assume because you you did kind of Vetamaya, you probably saw the the blast or whatever. Yeah, I would have definitely have seen it. Okay, thanks, Veta. Um, probably just in just in passing, going back simply because of the order of the squadron. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense to me. So, uh, Natasha, did you did you see this? Did I see them effing up? Yeah. This is your describe. I'm leaving your. Yeah, your talk. I mean, so I did describe myself as a re-entering formation, right? And then they immediately just started taking fire, sure, uh, catching themselves on fire to some extent, okay. right? Uh, their plane didn't catch on fire. Their plane, their plane rattled because it was too close to an explosion. Right. I mean, it'll explode at some point. Yeah. I'm sure they'll mess it up while landing. Yeah. Okay. It's just more of a Svetlana. Just. All right. Um, so, uh, Anya, your your plane on the on the return trip begins to uh, stall. Um, you're close enough to the base that you think you can bring it in, but you're gonna be coming in with no engine. Um, your plane's just gonna coast like a glider. Oh, nice. Fortunately, uh, your planes are are extremely efficient at gliding. They they kind of can go for a long time, uh, like that. Um, but um, yeah, you're you're coming in. The with nice thing nothing. about these old planes. Yep. So uh, you're you're landing in less than ideal circumstances. So you're gonna be rolling skill. Okay. What's up again? Uh, Twitch just hates me tonight. Hello, YouTube. How are you? What? <laughs> He's never gonna see this, but I yeah. see you. <laughs> hey, uh, can you guys see us? Is it working? Is it working? It's working now. All right. See what? <laughs> talk about a cliffhanger. <laughs> uh, so Anya, go ahead and give us the roll. Sure. Uh, this is a wheels down. Yeah. Uh, sorry, but uh, Twitch's Twitch's ingest servers are, are messing up. That's all I can say. Um. I fail real bad. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Really? There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Uh, there's nothing anyone can do. Um, so your plane is a fiery wreck, and we build from there. Yeah. Um, so your plane, uh, coasting into the, uh, to the, the, um, uh, the, the runway, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Irish going lumpkin. Oh no. <laughs> oh, is there like beefcake cap wolves around? Other no. Uh, no one sees you come in because you're quiet. Um, you end up crashing into another plane taxiing, a a, uh, a two eighteen, um, like fighter or like a uh, medium bomber or whatever. Uh, kind of like taxiing around and you just land and you just go slam right into like its tail uh, and your plane just kind of just tumbles and like starts disintegrating as as you guys kind of just like roll around um, I think you guys will have to take um, uh, fictionally um, I think it'd probably be five harm because that's what it that's what it's, that's what a casualty is and your plane's destroyed Okay. So how do you tally up your harm? Uh, you gotta put the four on the NPC dog. Kill her and can't. save yourself. You what? Oh wait, yeah, you can. Um, cause uh, Svetlana did the navigation roll for the harm. That's fine. Okay, good. Yeah. So what do you do? Hmm. Kill her. Kill her. It's not Save a total party kill leaving ten or Save gold. Save yourself. What I'm do you inclined do? to agree. How do you split up the arm? Accidents happen in training, especially when the officer corps is so completely incompetent that they are unable to provide basic assistance during maintenance. This is a disaster. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. It's a beautiful one. Um So I have to tally five harm. I already have one harm. 
because you of do. my from your head wound. Head. You do. Yeah, that you should you could have rested <laughs> or tried to reach out. Um. So your your wingmate also has one harm, right? No. No. Then yeah, you have to dump the four arm on her and take one, and that'll give you two, and you might be able to recover from that. She takes three harm. Her regard yeah, for her four? plane. Her regard oh. for her plane gets her an extra oh, harm. Snap. Yep. You got it. You have to. You literally mm -hmm. have to, or you will. She's die. dead, and you're in the hospital. You will die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your choices here: Do you want to die, or you're in the hospital? It's all gone. So. On the other hand, uh, basically, on um, the other hand, you could keep uh, you could keep what's her name alive, right? You could keep. Uh, she's not. She's gonna be in the hospital anyways. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if if you die, she's in the hospital, and no one cares about her. If she dies, you're in the hospital, and we kind of care about you. Um, for the for the time that you're gonna be in the hospital, um, you will have to play a new character. Keep that in mind. There ain't no fucking way you're getting out of the hospital and finishing training. <laughs> fucking no, guys, no okay. fucking way. I've got four casts, I got this. Just saying, just saying play. you will have to pick another character. I don't know, Eric. Eventually I'll be able to get people out of the hospital pretty quick. Oh, the pigeon shit? Using my dark magic. Yeah. I like that move. I think either way, he's going to have to make a new character. So it's either do you want yeah. to kill your character? Yeah, no, absolutely. Or do you want to put your character out of commission? Do you want your character to come back at another time, finishing training after they're recovered, possibly, uh, or do you want them to die? Yeah, Mike, that face. That face is completely ap apt. <laughs> um, these rolls. This was supposed to be a milk run. No one wants to, wants to like. I literally, some of this you, harm? I literally. No, can't. I you, am out no, of my hole. You I can't. No, uh, you guys cannot uh, Vetamaya this. And AP was the lead plane. I so mean, like it, it just doesn't fictionally make sense how you could really yeah. uh, help them here. I mean, uh, so the the right, mark makes sense because they saw here. you, right? Like they saw you, like oh god. You know, like that. That I can't stop your plane from crashing. Uh, yeah, I can't stop. No one can stop your plane from crashing. There's nothing I can do. No, yeah, I, uh, I, yeah, I, uh, I'm in the hospital. She's dead. She's dead. Okay. Um, so you take three harm. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not letting this character die yet. No. You are you awesome. the B. uh, so the B is destroyed as well. That's um, fine. I'll take the name. In honor of my, my phone. I'll take it to the hospital. Um. So, yeah, let's talk about advancing and growing. <laughs> um, we're going to cut to... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to write down my mark, though, because eventually I'm getting out of the hospital. Ooh. Sure, but so you're going to need to pick another character for the meantime. Yeah. Oh, I know uh, exactly. You're going to you're gonna have to pick one of the existing characters from um, this other sheet here. From I'm bringing it back over to Angles. Uh, you get to play one of those characters. Uh, you can you can also be a wingman uh, or one of the navigators or whatever from uh, uh, someone else's party. So, for example, if you wanted to be um, Vera or Polina, if you wanted to be um, uh, Tamara, uh, like, you or know, you, you you could yeah, or or Maria. <clears throat> those are options. Sure. Um, you have to pick a new character from the cast of The Wire. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Damn let me it, think about this for a second. While you discuss other people's yeah, no marks. problem. Yeah. So, um, I think we're gonna cut to a couple days later. Olga's dead. Um, what? So what? What? I'm, I'm curious about what mark you chose. Oh, um, uh, I did advance and grow, and it's it has to be harsh lessons. It fucking has to be. It can't be anything else. Yeah. Um, so I can add a new move immediately. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, alright. Okay, so that means, um, so Olga's dead. Yes, she is. Yeah. She shouldn't have fucked up my, <laughs> my wayfinding. Oh, oh okay. Um, I'm taking intense navigation then. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
right? Obvious choice. <laughs> uh, you say it's obvious now until then you're staring down the barrel of having two marks left being uh, I either die, I witness the death of a friend. <laughs> you know what? Uh, cross that bridge when we bomb it. Yep, okay. So the Oga's dead. Um, yep, so harsh lessons. Shit. So, um... I need to land my plane, right? No, you guys land your... You're not damaged. You guys land your plane fine. Oh, right. Yeah, you yeah. don't have the wheels down. the rest of us. Yeah, none, right. none of your wheels downing here. Let me bring up the, the officer's move, because I think you guys advance from this from this one as well. You don't always advance. Um, it just so happens that these early missions let you advance. Uh, nope. This is just a regular one. I think okay. as I hop out my plane, I'm immediately screaming at Sveta. Really? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I expected that. Um, yeah. If you, if you don't mind, do you guys want to do this right now, or do you want to? I'm thinking about maybe flash forwarding in time, and I don't then like we, anyway. then we could have marks and we could fight in like flashbacks if you don't mind. I would that be I mean, cool? No, no, I, I'm not. Saying I'm, I'm throwing it out there. You it out. I'm an, I'm saying that's the scene we see is me okay. like screaming at her. I'm not gonna play okay. that out. Sure. Uh, okay. I don't want to stop the debrief because yeah. Oh, so we're gonna we're gonna debrief, yeah. We're gonna deb okay. We're gonna debrief and then we're gonna cut. I think. All right. Um, yeah, let's let's go to the debrief. Everybody is fucking shocked. Um, the ruins are still there, uh, you know, like on the fucking uh, tarmac. Um, what? Everybody is just looking confused. Um, the major's not even there. Uh, it's it's this is it's just the senior lieutenant, um, Alexandra. Uh, um, who's our squadron commander again? Uh, your squadron commander is uh, Alexandra. Um, she no that is, the leader is your squadron commander. Okay, so it's the same. Per okay, yeah. Just sorry. Check. All right. Um, is this all of us telling them, she, or is it specifically section leader? Um, no, I think this is a debrief of, like, basically the entire squadron. Okay. Um, and she's like, what the fuck? She, you know, she's like, just puts her hands up. She's like, what the fuck? I, I would like to activate the debrief move. Yeah. Um, because she's, she's, uh, fuming. Uh, she's extremely, extremely upset. Um, she's like, in front of the major. What the fuck? Like, fuck. What, um... Squadron commander, I wish to indicate that my plane, the lead plane, was at least a total success during our bombing run. We were able to get in exceptionally low. In fact, I believe that might be the Union record and complete the target bombing. I'm afraid I didn't see what happened between my sister planes, but... 22 and 45 underwent some sort of aerial maneuvers and had several issues. Uh, I think I pipe up and I'm like, we didn't have any issues due to aerial maneuvers. It was just, you know, and then I kind of like fumble around. I'm like, the stress of navigating under the major and and I know that's mm -hmm. not an excuse. I know that's not anything viable. I know you don't fucking care, but that's what the result was. I don't, okay. I don't care about how your guys did. I want to know what went wrong. I'll tell you what went wrong, Squadron Commander. I, I believe I that the mission like, was doomed from the start. You have no room to talk, Natasha. And then I go into explaining like what I saw from my position. Because Natasha didn't fucking see anything. Yeah, I know, but I'm explaining what I saw from my perspective. Which Okay, is... so you're just going to make conjecture. No, no, no. I'm saying my, my literal what went wrong was before the mission even began, okay. our officer refuse to aid and assist in the repair of planes her negligence may have caused this incident if mechanical failure was involved uh, I think I step forward and I'm like the plane that was having mechanical issues was not the plane that went down and it was not my assignment to aid any of my other comrades we were all assigned our planes we were assigned to work on them in pairs we were supposed to go over and help each other once we were done do you hear this? The plane that had mechanical issues was not the one that went down, and yet it went down because of mechanical issues. 
and then I'm like, this no. kind of non logic went down because the sure. ship was rattled by its own ordinance. It wasn't a mechanical failure, it was a failure of the pilot or the navigator. There was nothing mechanical about it. What's the Eric? What's our like commander's name? Or not commander? Our like the lower Sponge. one, Alexandra. What? Uh, why? I just want to know. Kajiv Kajivieva. Just say just K. K. Just K. K. Alexandra K. Just making sure. Yep. Um. She she looks at you. He's like, um. Svetlana, uh, senior lieutenant, or, uh, junior lieutenant Svetlana's right. Um, it was from ordinance. Or ordinance would have damaged the plane. The mechanic, uh, what is your, pr unless you have, uh, specific proof, Natasha, that the plane was, um, sabotaged, um, or, or just negligent, uh, repairing, um, this was, this was just a unlucky, or this was, um, tragic accident. Yeah, this was just a tragedy. So much time and resources wasted. I don't I don't have any evidence to present. Um the <laughs> senior the, shade, the fucking huh? the steel the fucking steel steel sold uh senior lieutenant was um it's like um I wish the pilot had the fucking decency to to wash out instead of bringing a plane down and killing another person too. Um. Nah, I'm not gonna speak up. Right. I don't think I can really argue yeah. with that because um, I don't I don't really know what happened in between there and the runway. I no, only have is this um big idea. So I'm not in a position to comment. Were you close? Were you close at all to um? I'm asking. I'm asking Svetlana. This are, are were you close to uh, emotionally or positionally? In emotionally, the air? Anya. No. No. I don't okay. think I'm really emotionally close to basically anyone except for Tamara yeah. at this point. Yeah, and I don't have to ask that question to to fucking Natasha because Natasha doesn't care. <laughs> I was trying to figure out if there would be any sort of like mental anguish that would happen I mean, that would that would manifest as harm. But, I think uh, I'm I think disappointed, so. but it's yeah. I'm not depressed, and I don't feel like. There's a hole in me or anything. No. It's just like, you know, that sucks. Sure. It's unfortunate. This is the first I, time someone's died in, yeah. in, in your section. I care about the people in my squadron insofar as they do their job and I keep them alive. And so far I'm seeing a lot of people not doing that. When they pull their shit together, they'll get more respect from me. Um, so you are the section leader, um, you are, you are the section leader, Sveta, right? Mm. Um, sh uh, I, I think the, the squadron commander is like, you're gonna have to expect, uh, expect a, an interview from, um, from, uh, what's her name? Uh, Captain Olga, uh, Barsukova. Um, with the NKVD. Um, this is on you. You're the section leader. Ultimately, you will be responsible to, to report for your subsidiary, uh, your your people of your section. I think I know. I, know I, will, like I, will, I, will, I will present the facts as, you, as you've described, that it was a, it was a tragic accident. Um, but that's it. Uh, and I, I mean, I it, it's going to be out of my hands. Like, you know, she's like leveling with you. Because, uh, you know, this is a very uh, serious um, kind of like Okay, bullshit aside, this is what's going to happen. Um, this was an accident. It's not your fault. Uh, the NKVD is going to look for anything they can to make it your fault. Yeah. Um, now they're list then you know they're looking. Um, she kind of like looks at at Natasha, right? Because you're like this is their fault for being negligent, and this is that kind of stuff. You're like, if you can weather her, uh, you'll be fine. Uh. I I think I try to feign a smile and it just doesn't come out. Like I want to laugh yeah. at that and I'm just like, it's not worth it. <sighs> Fuck. The mood's just dead. There's nothing I can do. All right. 
Um, she's like, well, before before you're dismissed, um, it's your section who's responsible for cleaning that mess. And it's, and she's like dismissed, and and she she just grabs her clipboard and stuff and heads out. Um, then I am definitely the first out of the room, down to the, uh, so fine if I call it a tarmac. Yeah, that's fine. They're, okay. Yeah. Just making sure that terminology works. Um, I'm probably the first out down to the tarmac, feeling a little bit of responsibility. Not for what's happened, just that, you know, happened under my watch. Uh, you, you guys, like, as you, as you get out there, um, you see that, um, the senior lieutenant is immediately, like, um, brought by a, um, basically a a small gang of um brass by by the um like i don't think you've ever actually seen them but they're certainly the uh the brass of the 218th male fighter regiment uh basically the people whose plane got crashed into is that uh, plane just wrecked or like what's the status of that uh yeah i mean it's fucking it's it's tail fuselage got cut you know it, it, it's tail got s- sliced off basically, okay. while, while I was taxiing. Um, whether it was landing or taking off as immaterial, it was just, you know, it was got destroyed as well. Um, it might be re- recoverable, but... Um, well, that's what I'm saying. Is it in the same fiery wreck state, or...? No, no, no. The PO2 is freaking balsa wood. <laughs> like, right. you know, uh, it's yeah, obliterated. Um, no, not this. Uh, that, uh, so basically, you you, you kind of like as you're walking away, you hear them being like, like, "You have to fucking explain yourselves and why why these fucking like this is the reason why women shouldn't be flying." And you know, you hear that kind of stuff as you guys are are, are leaving. Um, so, otherwise, we'll cut forward a little bit in time, unless there's anything else you want to do tonight. Because otherwise, you assume you're just gonna be cleaning up this wreck, this wreck. Um. Remind me again, where was the, what was the little bee thing that you did when getting into the plane, Mike? I just put a thing, like, in the navigator's, like, space that, like, had the name little bee. Like a piece of paper, or like what? Just like a piece of paper, yeah. I just wanted to, like... It's not going to really survive the wreck. Oh, no, it's super gone. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, That's what I was asking. Yeah, it's I was destroyed. like, I want to recover that, but... At this point, the only people that knew we nicknamed it Little B, one of them's dead, and the other one's in the hospital. Yeah, and I, d- I mean, I didn't think that was going to happen, but I wanted to be like, you know, I picked through the wreckage and I find that, but that's... that's no. There's no way that's there, so... Yeah. That's why I asked. Okay. Um, and yeah, I don't... Oh, I, and I, I picked who I want to be, by the way. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh, who? Uh, Maria, AP's navigator. Are we gonna be friends now? Friends. I don't know. I mean, she's she. I don't know. She. She's from Moscow. I'm from Moscow. She's yes. relatively competent. So far, so far, you haven't treated her like shit. So okay. <laughs> cool. But that also that also could be because she hasn't fucked up. Yeah. Um, have you picked a uh, a role in nature for her? Oh, um, I've not yet. I'll look at those real okay, quick. Okay, that's fine. In the meantime, um, so, uh, with that being said, I think we're gonna cut to a little bit of a montage, uh, of some stuff that happens throughout the, um, throughout training at this time. So after that wreck, uh, you guys have to go back into more training, and it's just as frantic, uh, and we kind of hear a, um, an older lady... Uh, kind of speak over uh, a sort of like the montage of what's going on on screen. And it's like, April 1942. Uh, after another month of grueling training, the pace has become frantic. Supplies are becoming rarer as the combat situation becomes more and more uncertain. The regiment's airplanes are suffering, and pressure from our staff officers continues to mount. Not only are we spec- expected to become excellent pilots and navigators, we are also expected to be model Soviet air women, perfect in every way. Something has got to give. And, um, so we're going to cut to a couple, like, you know, it's like a couple weeks later. Um, so, uh, you know, the funeral, the funeral service was had, um, that stuff, it's all, that's all kind of like been, uh, pushed down as a torrent of more training and flight materials and, and, uh, political stuff, uh, is shoved um, down. Am uh, I good throats. to clear my harm at this point then? Oh yeah. Yeah. Clear your harm. Okay. Yeah, let's make it true. Um, 
so now um, uh, the I think I think it's at this point the informal interview will take place. Uh, so like so like it's been a while now, um, and uh, yeah yeah okay. Um, this is what we're gonna we're gonna do it this way. Um, so so the captain Captain Olga Barsakova, um, the person who teaches the political stuff, the NKVD specialist, uh, finds you um, after like the showers or whatever. And tells you to, um, uh, ba they basically bring you over with a couple male MPs who are dressed in like the dull gray NKVD uniforms, being like, you know, like get with the, come with us, and they take you away to a small little office building. Uh, now would probably be a good time to mention before this goes down. Um, I have the dreamer role. Yes. So, what is the implication here with it going well? Um, does this does this just so mean I think extremely goes well? You're not arrested. Whatever. You're not put in jail. I mean, like, I, is there is there like a check I have to make or? Yeah, there is. Much? No, there's there is a move. There's an informal interview move. Okay. Yeah. And Dreamer allows you to use uh, any stat you want to answer the question. Correct. Ah. Okay. Did you happen, AP? Did you happen to bring over those moves? Are they in the um? The in Night Witches over here. The uh, hand up handouts. I don't know that informal interview is actually in a. No, it's a move. It's a move in the in the actual actual. Yeah, but I don't know that it's in the handout moves. Uh... Oh, that's fine. Um, I'll I'll snag it. I got. I can find my Night Witches PDF. Um. So are we moving to another duty station? No. Uh, we have one more mission. Yeah, we have one more mission. Character moves. Uh, nope. Special moves. Here it is. Informal interview. When you when you are questioned by the NKVD, you roll luck if you lie or guts if you tell the truth. Dreamers can roll whatever uh can roll using whatever stat they prefer, and then there's some options on a ten plus. They thank you for your time. On a seven and nine, you choose one. I don't want to miss the People's Commissariat of Internal Affairs takes an interest in you. They give okay. you some ideas of what's going on. So this interview, fictionally, um, because you are the section leader, and this plane went down in your section, um, they are looking for anything that AP was talking about. Right. Any and in fact, of sabotage, any hints of... Um, in fact, they tell you to uh, start off by describing the events as you saw them. Okay. Well, I base I I think I just go through in a short little bit and I explain. You know, I we me and my flight had made our attack run and we were kind of just like surveying the rest of the squadron, and uh, the third plane behind us happened to go down a little bit way too low for their attack run, and in dropping their ordnance, they completely rattled their uh, plane, mm -hmm. fucked the thing up, fucked their situation up, and in returning back to base, all I saw was basically like an attempted landing and an immediately firing fiery crash hmm. was there any signs of um of olga or or anya um being um unfaithful to the cause um harboring uh capitalist tendencies um and i think just uh, honestly I, say, like, I didn't know them well enough to say you know anything about like what they discussed in private or how they thought I didn't see anything when I was out on missions or during training nothing that ever indicated you know that they had ever are strayed you... ideologically but you are you are their section leader correct you've been their section leader since the first mission yeah and I yes and you don't know these things I uh, I say it's not that I don't know them it's that I've literally never seen evidence of them so if they were they were very, very, very clever. She says, I see, but you know that she's actually writing, she doesn't know. Yeah. Question mark. <laughs> and I think, just... I think what you're describing this, I think the, the, the screen, like, that we're watching here, like, of the show, it, like, cuts in half, and we see, like, a flashback part of, um, them interviewing Natasha, asking questions about, uh, you. Uh, and sort of, like, interviewing what they think of you as a section leader. Mm. Um, so this is not an informal interview. This is just them asking uh, you, Natasha. Actually, you know what? It is an informal interview by you as well. But this is like happening in the past. And this isn't gonna like negatively affect her either, I assume. 
Uh, it's possible. Oh, okay. So, Natasha, do you hear me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I'm smugging so hard right now. Yeah. So, um, they ask you to describe what's going on. Uh, how, what the, describe, uh, give a depiction of the events as you saw them. So, I'm concerned because I think that this is a move. And the way you describe it changes what you roll on, right? Yeah, because this is guts or luck. Uh, and I'm trying to find the move so I know exactly how to attack this because I definitely don't want to fuck this up. Oh yeah, I'll find it. I'll, find it. I'll give it to you verbatim here. I would approach this in the way that I would be good at doing it. Sure. Um, so this is how it is. It's on page 48 of the actual rule book. Okay. Uh, when, you, when you were questioned by the NKVD, you roll luck if you lie or guts if you tell the truth. Uh, I am equally bad at both. So I am going to tell the truth. I mean, it's the truth as you see it, right? Yeah, it is the truth. So, as I see it. It, does it does it match what you were talking about? Um, just for, uh, for expediency's sake, let's, does let's it play it out? Like, who am I being interviewed by? Uh, you're being interviewed by her uh, junior uh, person, uh, the deputy Politruck, uh, also by the name of Svetlana. Um, uh, Svetlana Sheremetova. To our Svetlana as Feta the whole time to make it very clear that I have no regard for her leadership capability. Okay. Uh, that I'm not talking about the Lieutenant Svetlana that I'm in the room with. Yeah. And, yes. And she says, keep in mind, I'm going to be taking, factoring your interview along with others of, of the squadron. Right. Perfect. Okay. As you may know, I am ideologically pure. I am a card-carrying member of the Communist Party, and I believe in Comrade Stalin's vision. However, I've had some very serious concerns about our section leader. She's expressed numerous time capitalist tendencies, shirked her duties as often as possible, very publicly refused to help a aircraft that was in need of repair by... Explain. Sergeant when I requested that the junior lieutenant help me with a demonstration on how to repair an aircraft, she simply walked off of the base. Uh, did she? Walked away. Did she say that she had any pressing, more pressing matters involving leadership? She training? did. She did not. Hmm. Okay. She like marks down the details and stuff. Okay. I've uh, had numerous discussions with her across the base, where I am very filled with the sense that she is a shirker. And I am so proud to have the NKVD finally remove her from command. So yes, yeah, uh, exactly. So that she's she's ba so basically the gist is that you're corroborating your story that you gave in the debrief yeah. that she I, is it's um, a shirker. I see it rather yeah. than me lying and being right. like, roll. Sveta is the best. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and roll. Um, roll. Uh, you said your truth. So roll guts. The way I'm rolling a zero. Boom. Eight. Eight. What do you want from me? Um, uh, sort of. You choose one. They thank you for your time, and I. You choose one. Uh, you incriminate a family member or a comrade you have positive regard for. You agree to frame the target of the current investigation, or you and the comrade of your choice are marked. Uh, I will take the mark. Uh, and the comrade I am going to target is Feta. Okay. Ooh, right on. Uh, and I'm gonna take the mark that gives me a new move. Yeah, the advanced one? Uh, yep. Alright. How many marks can you take? Uh, um, until they're uh, all filled up. I mean, at some point, you, you if you run out of marks, the only one left is just die. The last mark is embrace death and your face your final are, destiny. I mean, well, it's not technically the last mark. You can take it anytime yeah, you want to. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, there are 12. But, but eventually okay. you will die. That means that you will die. Mm -hmm. um, eventually you're gonna so, hit the option. You burn so yeah, marks marks sound really fun at, at the start. Like this is out of character, right? Out of game. Uh, marks are really cool at the start, but they're non-refundable hit points. Yeah, right? that's basically what they are. They're they're ablative, <laughs> fictional health. Sure. Um, so um, yeah, so that's there. I uh, think for so now we cut back uh, and we we hear more about um, Svetlana, uh, like being interviewed by by Captain Olga of NKVD. Um, so they like tell us more about uh, a training exercise that you were doing that you supposedly failed to um, assist. Oh, um, I go into that, and yeah. uh, I'm basically like, well, the major had shown up on base uh, to survey our work, but the senior lieutenant had commanded all of us in the pairs that we are assigned to our planes to go 
and rebuild the planes that have been taken apart from scratch so that one of our comrades, who I will go without naming for the sake of her honor... Please, please, for, for the record, I need to know their name. Well, it's Natasha, and... Sorry, what's Natasha's last name? I keep forgetting this. Gorlukovic. Gorlukovic. Um, it's Natasha Gorlukovic, junior lieutenant. Mm. Um, and uh, I continue, like, after she had... After she had had a mishap in the air, uh, the senior lieutenant had wanted us to repair our planes. We, it was basically a punishment. And we were all assigned to repair our planes in our pairs. One of our, uh, one of our comrades, uh, uh, Vera's a junior lieutenant as well, isn't she? Uh, yeah, they're, um, yeah. you guys were all... Uh, and her last name is, again? Oh, uh, Vera um, uh, Chazova. 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 Uh, so, uh, Junior Lieutenant Vera Chazova was trying to calm down... Uh, let's see. It was... Um, Polina. Was Polina, yeah. It was um, Junior okay. Lieutenant Polina um, Chernova. Uh, and, well, I had chosen not to involve myself in the spat that they were having. Now, Natasha chose to even though that wasn't what we were commanded to do, and I saw no reason to do it myself. I see. Hmm. She, she, like, writes down all, like, her elaborate descriptions, but really on her page is saying, bullshit. <laughs> um, go ahead and make a, make a roll for me. It's yeah. Uh, I'm rolling with skill, so it's at a plus one. Oh, yeah. Oh, six. Oh, well. Oh boy! Bum, bum, bum. Yep. Um, I think that's the third. Yeah, that's the third six. Hmm. All right. Yeah, they're not gonna. Um, all right, they take an interest in you. Uh, of course, they said you know they thank you for your time. Um, they're like you know as you know we're gonna have to do more interviews with other people and stuff like that. But um, this this will be an investigation that's ongoing and open. Uh, they won't prevent you from graduating, but um, you know until the time. So, yeah. Um, so you are you are you have the eyes of the NKVD on you. Um, this is real bad. Somebody's watching me. Yeah. I have no privacy. So, um, yeah, that's pretty bad. Shit, that was pretty rough. For a so, second mission, yes. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, is there anything we want to do in the meantime? The oh, I need to deck. do my mark. Uh, I was oh. waiting until that was over to see if it influenced anything. Oh, um, um, yeah, do your marks. Do your marks and advance. Let me know what you guys choose. I can't advance. So that's what. And while that's going on, um, I think, uh, I think Polina comes in to the barracks at some point, holding a letter that was addressed to, um, uh, what's her name? To Anya. Being like, it's unopened. Uh, being like, uh, Anya got a letter. Looks official. Handing that to me, or... No, she's, she just kind of says it to the group if anyone's interested. Oh, in the barracks. Okay. Yeah. Who was close no. with anyone... I think, she, if anything, she'll probably want to give it to you, Sveta, because you're the section leader, thinking that, like, you're somehow, like, responsible. Yeah, I think, I think I, um, I very brusquely kind of, like, stand up from my bed where I'm kind of just, like, sullenly sitting, and I kind of, like, snatch it out of her hand, and I'm like... Yeah. And then I, halfway through walking back to my bed, I, I turn to her, and I'm like, thanks. Just very, just very simply. Uh, shit, I don't know which mark I want. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, can I take a mark retroactively? Sure. What's the, what's uh, the mark? Then I'm just going to take witness the death of a comrade. Yeah, sense. that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Um, to, but to take it, uh, would you mind... Um, this is something I want to do for this game. I don't know if you guys are on board with it. Uh, would you mind doing sort of like a address, maybe like the break the fourth wall a little bit about like um, how this reflect? Like imagine your character is writing in a journal... Or addressing someone else, like how you feel addressed. Like it's this is supposed to be an impactful moment, so I want you to be open and honest about witnessing the yeah, death okay. of a of a friend or a comrade and what it means to you. 
um, maybe how your life is changed by it or how it reflects to maybe something that happened in your past. Like, especially, th- I think that might be apt for you. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, I want marks... Basically, what I'm trying to say is I think I want marks to be more important than how I'm used mm-hmm. to playing them. I want to know if your guys are cool with doing something like that. Yeah. I'm like, cool. having to... Yeah. Um, okay. So, breaking the fourth wall for this. Um, I think... I'm not in any way changed, and I, my demeanor and my affect, none of that has changed. My personality hasn't changed, and neither has my outlook. Um, but I think in seeing Olga dead in the way that she was, probably like burned and mangled in metal, um, it's kind of brought me back to a point I was a couple of years ago. Um, and it's weakened some of my like sterner exterior. Like I feel... I feel like I'm reliving the horrors that I had to deal with two years ago, and I'm only a month or two into the active combat stuff that I've been doing. Not even active combat, the active training in the combat that I've been doing. And I think I'm just shaken by the fact that, like, all of this is happening so much sooner than I expected it to be. Yeah. Um, it, it broke the veneer of being safe? Yeah, I it did. It, it, it's brought me back to, okay, I'm going to see people die again. This yeah. is going to happen. I can't put it behind me. I am going to see more people in horrific death situations, and it, this is going to keep happening now. It, yeah. I'm not going to be safe in the air. Shit's going to happen, and I'm going to see it. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. AP, what are you taking? You took the advanced one, right? Uh, Yeah, so I took the advanced called The Hell With Death. When I would normally be marked, I may choose another player character who's marked instead. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. I'm gonna. So before, I mean, obviously that sounds a little dickish because it means I'm just gonna be bouncing marks at people rather than getting closer to death. However, I'm gonna be pairing it with another move. Uh, was it pigeon? Where's the one that lets you steal people's harm? Uh, it's the pigeon move. Uh, yeah, it's a sparrow move. Dark bargain. Oh. You can elect to be marked in order to remove all harm from yourself or another. Uh, so what I would do is, let's say Mike crashes a plane and is dying. I would take all of their harm, get marked, and then bounce the mark back at him. And so he would walk away from a fiery plane crash with a mark, and that's it. Perfectly mm-hmm. intact. Alrighty, then. Okay. But that's in the future. Yeah. All right, that second advancement. Oh, that second advancement. Okay. All yep, right. Yep. I can't. I can't do the combo yet. I can only protect myself from marks wow. for now. Okay. And well, this is where witch is coming from. Is my literal witchcraft of like manipulating fate and like messing with people so that they're like, you aren't as damaged as you thought you were. In fact, why don't you get up and walk around? You're perfectly fine. So, um, here's the thing. Is there anything you guys want to do uh, in the meantime? Otherwise, I kind of feel like maybe just cutting to like the final mission for the uh, for the warm, uh, the warm up thing. Can we do mission pool prep? Yeah, like yeah. Let's do let's yeah. do some mission pool stuff. Uh, maybe this will also be a chance for. Um, I'm sorry, you have to remind me of the name. Uh, you chose Maria, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you chose Maria. Um, did you decide on who, uh, what your role in um, nature? Oh yeah, she's a sparrow. Um, and then my, um, I think my nature is going to be zealot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Um, it's about to get a lot worse. <laughs> I think it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I want. I want. I'm trying to think of maybe I should do something that will reflect all the characters who've passed away this game. Uh, I might do something like that. Um, yeah, with some Sarah McLaughlin playing. I will remember. Who can say where the road goes? Obviously, what you need to do is just have uh, an animation of, like, the Noctexan faces, like, passing over the screen with sad music playing. Yeah. 
Maybe that might that might be the end, the last episode, right, where we do it all. In um, memoriam. Yeah, and it, you know, a moment of silence. Um, so, anyways, silence for the let's, let's, let's do some um, let's do some mission pool uh, stuff. So, um, you know, what you guys are back right into the grind again, um, getting everything everything's getting taken care of and stuff. Uh, you're trying to squeak eke out whatever free time you can get at any point. It's pretty tough. Um, what are you guys gonna do? You, oh, you, 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 uh, both of you, um... Is the other plane still, everyone, like, destroyed, destroyed? Oh, yeah, it's destroyed, it's destroyed. Okay, so um, can't be repaired. No, uh, it is, it's irrepar- irreparable. Uh, Reserve Aircraft 67 has been pulled into duty. Um, additionally, uh, you guys have noticed that other people have been, um, like the other, um, trainees have been avoiding you guys as much as possible in the sections because you guys are under suspicion? I mean, I would think one of us is under suspicion. I thought I came out pretty well, right? Yeah, but you were talked to then, KBD. They're not sure, like... Um, I rumor has it... You. Rumor I... has it is that you cursed uh, you cursed him and you killed him. I'll take that. I'll take that. Sure. Because, you know, you go by witch, right? And this person will, died, read, and all of a sudden, know. you're you're fine, and, and, like, you're, like, got out of this interview and stuff like that, right? Um, people, um, people are suspicious of you. John Cena. Yeah, uh, they're, um, people already didn't like you, and now they're kind of scared of you. Good. They're right where they need to be. Time for a heel yeah. turn. All right, uh, yeah, I think it's literally time to, to start enacting my plan to overtake leadership here. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna find Sveta and check out what's up with her, because uh, I want to know how I can get something from her. Reach out, check up with me, or act no? Up. I'm gonna eyeball you up first. Oh, I'm gonna okay. figure out where your headspace is at. Yeah, so roll, I can invade it. Roll skill. Yeah. So I mean, can we describe what's happening here? Like I'm I'm. Yeah, please do. Maybe I'm like creeping around the side of a bed bunk, like. <laughs> Are you going through her shit? No, no. I'm literally like watching her from across. All the right, room. sure. Checking her out behind a potted plant. Just. Yep. <laughs> All what right. What are you doing? What you doing, girl? And they creeping. What, what, what are you doing? doing? Literally, what are what are you doing? I well, I kind of want to wait to see how this pans out before I say it because I want to okay. see. I mean, I. We're trying to set this up fictionally, man. I gotta have. I know, a, but I want to set it up to either be extremely revealing or oh, like. Oh boy! All right. Well, declare oh, something oh. first, and then roll, and then we might change it. Okay. Well. Right. All right. Then pick a pick a pivot point for the scene location, and like, then we'll determine. The... I'm probably fiddling with something on my bed, but it's not really clear what it is from like the angle that you're at. Sure. Okay. I got my eyes on you. Boom. Uh, I have regards, so that's actually a nine, but that doesn't go. I mean, it does nothing for me. Uh, spend one hold. I would like to ask, how could I get uh, Sveta to admit her involvement in the death and destruction of that aircraft? In the death of, I'm going to say, Olga? Yeah. Yep. Um, Sveta, is that possible? Um... Uh, this is this like I have to be like an intermediary yeah, for this, this question because I, mean, like, I don't know you. Like, I have absolutely. I, don't know your is. I had no fucking involvement in that, so. and the only way you could get it out of me is to like leverage it out of me with like some sort of emotional thing. So um, there you go. You don't know enough about my past to do that right now. If you did, you could, but yeah. like physical force isn't going to fucking do it. Threats are not going to do it, and I'm not going to lie for no reason. Sure. So the answer is emotional. The answer. Yeah. The answer that you get AP is emotional blackmail. Yeah, that's like that's the best you can get. Um, I immediately reach out. Okay. I just come up beside your bed, smiling a wintry smile, and I wrap my arm around your shoulders, and I'm like, Spit, are you okay? Are you all uh, right? I understand you might be shaken up. I think I look up at you, and I'm like, I'm all right enough. Are you sure? I mean, I heard all of the terrible things that are happening to you lately. The NKVD is looking into you. Several of the officer corps are questioning your competency. 
Your pilots are afraid to go anywhere near you. Um, I think I see you emotionally. I shrug and I'm like, this isn't anything I haven't been through before, and if they want to revoke my leadership status, you know, that's their choice. I didn't ask for this position. I got put into it. I'm, I'm not that concerned with keeping it. And considering the bullshit I've had to put up with in this position so far, why don't you take it? And I kind of say that jokingly. I had like a little laugh to the end. Because I know it's I like... As well. I can't just like, hand it to you. <laughs> Alright, I gotta figure out a, a significant new truth to reveal to you. You know, have you heard the rumor from some of the other air women that say I've been cursing people? Um, I think I kind of lie back on my bed and I'm like, well, you are a witch, but yeah, I've heard the rumors. Yeah, like I, I put my mouth up next to your ear and I'm just like, it's true. Uh, I kind of giggle it's and then I... Next. And I kind of shrug, and I'm like, I, I'm so scared. <laughs> and I, I kind of just laugh it off. Is that a reach out? Yeah, that's a reach out. That's a reach out. Is it? Uh, that's fucking just being creepy. Yeah, well, I mean, I revealed the significant new truth, which is that I do believe I mean, that. yeah, it, it, it is literally All that. Right. That's part of his role, and he can do that. So, And I didn't know that. Okay, I, that's okay. Uh, it's so not just I, gonna be creepy. It's... I'm acting on uh, my plus one forward, and I have regards, so I roll with a two. Don't fuck this up. No, I got a, at least a ten. You got twelve, a... yeah. Whales. Yeah, crushed it. Uh, I'm gonna add one to the mission pool, and I am going to change the uh, target of my regards spot. I'm gonna change. Uh, my target to Maria, and it's gonna be uh, trust. You trust Maria? Uh, I do now. More than I, I trust Maria more than I hate this chick. Uh, can you change a regard to somebody who didn't target? Yeah, you it can. says change the target and or tone of a currently mm -hmm. full regard spot. You can change both. Okay, I I only I was wondering if that move could only work in context to the move that you just did. Just why I don't think it would make sense for you to be able to pick up trusting someone else after I, talking to someone else randomly. Think of it this way. I'm literally like leaving my hate on the door here. I'm like, this is it. We're done. I know you're I know you're through because I'm gonna destroy you. I don't have to hate you anymore. Okay. Oh um, okay, I get it. Yeah, I'll buy that. Alright. Yeah, it's no longer the object of your attention. Okay. Shit. So um Ooh. I think um, I think at this point there's more uh, activity going on with the um, the two eighteenth. Uh, they're kind of like since ever since your guys broke that plane, right? Like they've been sending liaisons back and forth, being like, "Why are you doing this shit?" Um, and uh, the night before your final mission. There's a uh, supposed to be kind of like let's soothe things over with sort of like a mixer. Uh, so you guys are um, invited to a a mixer with the two eighteenth males at um, uh, the hangar. Like they're gonna clear out a part of the hangar and have a uh, dance kind of thing. Okay. Um, I think that um, I think that Maria um, how so how, what happened to the person that like uh, on a hit like their plane like their plane was destroyed but oh, did anything um, happen to them no they were okay the pilot and co-pilot okay. were okay yeah uh, I want to go up to the to one of them um, you're not sure who that who was actually hit. I don't okay. think there's any well, way you I'd... would know that. Sure, uh, I think I, I think I, I don't know. I think that my, my plan here. Hmm. You could find out. 
Yeah, I think that I... I don't know. I think that she's all about the dance. Like she, she goes for it. Okay. Um, and so she... Um, I mean, we can cut to the dance, but I want to ask if other people are, want to do anything before the dance. Okay. Are you, I got some mission pool. If you're not going to the dance, let me know. Um, I don't want to, but I do want to try to reach out to Tamara again. Um, okay. So I think this is probably after the scene with Natasha, maybe sometime in the evening, probably before the mixer, and she's getting ready. Um, sure. And I take the time, she probably, like, stops on, before she heads out of the barracks, and she's like, you know, you're not going, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not going. Um, and I've, uh, got the doll that I mentioned, um, that was at the bottom of my footlocker in my hands. Um, and, uh, I'm kind of, like, thumbing over it in my hands, and, uh, I, I have this, like, small smile on my face. Um, and I kind of look up to her, and I'm like, you know, this was, uh, this was the only thing I managed to pull out of my village. Uh, there was a there was a neighbor girl who had this fascination with dolls, and she could never afford any because she was so poor. She would always beg her parents to get the, her the uh, what are they called? The stacking dolls, matryoshka dolls. Sure, stacking dolls. I believe they're called matryoshka dolls. Um, Russian nesting and, dolls. Yes, and I um, and I kind of like I kind of laugh, and I, I was like. You know, she's she was always so obsessed with dolls. She would always just try to make her own with whatever she found on hand. She would use them with Matryoshka. Okay, she would uh, make them with whatever she had on hand. You know, she would pick up like stray bits of timber. She would use some of the shell casings that she found around the village, or and and this one. And I kind of like thumb over and like this one she made with straw, and it's well, you know, I let me see I, that. Be needing it, yeah. And I I kind of hand it over to her. Um, I'm just gonna roll now she, since I kind of okay. uh, she she smiles, um, and she's like, you know what this is. Um, and I kind of shrug and I'm like, not really. It's a keepsake. It has... My my grandmother gave me one just like this. Uh, it's supposed to protect you from the Baba Yaga. Is this something I would know about? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's the, um, folklore. It's a folklore ward. Okay. And, you know, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be so, like, you're, you don't run into the woods and get eaten by the witch. Mm -hmm. Um. That's reasonable. <laughs> I, uh, I think I, um, I take it back after she's done with it. I'm like, well, I don't think it's been too useful for that since, but it's, you know, it's, it's a nice reminder of home. It's the only reminder of home I have. It's the only pleasant reminder of home I have. Um, yeah. And I kind of set it back down on the bed. You should keep it safe. Uh, and, and roll. Uh, and roll, roll, yeah, roll, roll reach out. Nine. Um, and uh, I think before she leaves, I kind of like uh, run my fingers just like down the doll gently. Um, and I sort of kind of tear up as the scene fades out. Um, and I'm going to use that to add one to the mission pool. You got a nine? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yep. So now your mission pool is at two. Yep. Awesome. Um, I want to, before the dance, I want to go and talk to uh, Natasha. You do? Okay. Sure. Where do you find Natasha? Um, somewhere that she's alone, wherever that might be. Anywhere? I'm definitely, listen, I'm super hot, right? I'm definitely coming out of the shower, like, doing my hair. Okay. I'm assuming this dance is like we don't have to go in our uniforms, kind of. No, you go in your you go in your class A's. Oh well, then I'm still washing my hair. Okay. Like a boss. Okay, and I think I I think I uh, I like catch you, and I'm like, hey, uh, Nat Nat N Natasha, can I talk to you? Just call me witch. How's it going, Maria? Uh, fine, fine. Are you excited for the dance? To some extent, yes. How awesome. about you? I'm very excited. I I haven't been to a dance in a long time. Did you hear anything further from your family back in Moscow? Uh yeah, I got a I got a letter from my my father recently. He's doing fine. Uh his his legs healing well. That's good. That's good. 
Perhaps um, soon he can serve on the front lines. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know if he's going to be able to again. Um, but I wanted to tell you that I think you're right. Um, I don't think... I just smile because I'm like, I don't know why. I don't know what this topic is, but... Hey, I'm right. I, I don't think Sveta's doing a good job. She's... It's been weighing on my mind that uh, Olga died, and I think that... I think she's... I don't know, and NKVD's looking into her, and I'd, I'd like to say I'd, I'd, I know that you two have been tense, I guess. Um, That's over with now. You, I, you, you have my back, or I have your back. I have your back as well. I really trust you, Maria. Oh, thanks. Um, I'm looking forward to the last leg of our training. We're going to have to swap positions, but I don't expect any problems. I'm kind of nervous. I, I haven't flown a lot before. Oh, don't worry. I'll get you to the target. All you got to do is drop the bombs. Okay. Let's go have some fun, huh? Sure. So, um, at the dance, uh, yeah. I, I'm not sure if that's a reach out, though. I mean, it didn't really sound like a reach out. I think it was just a talk. That's fine. What do you think? I could be persuaded. I mean, I thought it was just a scene. Um, yeah, I just thought it was nice. I thought it was a nice I mean, scene. There's a okay. case to reach out insofar as she revealed a powerful new secret that uh, I'm right, but that would literally. <laughs> that's not a secret it. that you're right. Uh, uh, no, I, I, mean, I just think that was a good scene. That's all. Yeah. All right, I, let's move uh, to the dance. Let's cut to the dance. Uh, so the dance is a very. Um, Everyone's in their class A's, like their dress A uniforms, so like your your official office stuff, right? You know, everything's supposed to be looking clean and proper and prim. Not your not the stuff that you were issued early on, like your flight uniforms or like your standard ish, your standard dress. Uh, this is like your your official wear. Um, you you probably were given them uh, maybe like a day before this dance was put in, right? Like you guys wouldn't have had them around. Um, so. The mixer, the mixer goes pretty well. Do you guys dance with anyone? Like, do you do you actively seek out dancing with with other people? Like the whole two machines here. Just us? No, it's it's the entire five eighty eighth. Okay, I mean, I would definitely take a dance with Maria and anyone else who would offer, but I don't think it. I don't even know if Maria would want to be seen dancing with me. Yeah, I think Maria tries to dance with some of the the two eighty eight. Is that what you said they were? Uh, the two eighteenth. Um, I think I think um, I think a couple men go to dance with you, Natasha. Um, but you can see them like snick like a, their friends are like snickering at um, the guy who offered to dance with you. Um, like it was like a dare or like a bet. You know what? I will I will double down on their friends for that. Yeah, um, yeah like I will dance with that that young man, and then I will like passionate kiss on the way out like you're such a great dancer i really enjoyed this oh look at your friend over there i thought i saw him earlier now he's standing in a corner alone how sad uh and maybe i'll say that as like i'm walking him over to this group of friends who are all snickering in the corner like really loudly oh they're so lonely right now how sad if only they could find dancers for themselves they um and then I peace out. Yeah, I, do I, I, I think they have a chance to respond. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Um, it strikes again. Drop that bomb and got out. Here's I think um, if you have any objections, uh, Sveta, um, a particularly dashing young man comes up to you. Surprisingly, I'm not there. You're not yeah, there. Yeah, she did say she was going to. No, I opted specifically not to go. This is mandatory. You you said you offered yeah, the option. Yeah, you asked, and he was like, "I'm not going." Yeah, I'm... Well, he, he, I think he asked, "Is there anybody that's not going?" But yeah. Oh, I asked if anybody's not going, but it is mandatory. Okay, I'm still not going. Okay. Um, and if I have to, if I have to give reasoning for that later. No, time. no, I think I think that actually might make this scene even better. What are you doing instead? Um. Ooh. 
Um, so I mentioned yeah. the newspaper clipping that I had before. Yeah. Um, but to to break character meta for a moment, uh, the person that I chose is like the person who I write to is the editor. It's one yeah. of the listed ones. Um, and so I've kind of defined that as like the the editor of the post who was actually printing out that article and who was actually the writer of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think. While that's going on, I'm taking the time to, like, write to him about, you know, my experiences having to watch more death and be like, you know, um, this is, this is, you know, like, this is what it feels like to watch a comrade die, you know, this is what it's like to have to, it, it, this isn't family, this isn't, this isn't, you know, friends, this isn't neighbors anymore, this is, you know, people that I have to work with, people that I am here with all day, all the time, nonstop. And now it's it, but it affects me just as bad. And I'm writing out these memoirs, like you know, you don't you don't really understand how much that how much you know the death of a comrade will hit you until you've actually spent that much time with them. So Cause this guy's like back at a point where like you know he's not getting letters from the front lines or whatever. Yeah. I'm like one of the only people submitting them to him. You could certainly spend some time to reach out to him, but um. Okay. I want to, as an emphasize, I want to, as a GM, emphasize the fact that you're under scrutiny by the NKVD, and you not going to this would look poorly. I am not in a position to care. Okay, <laughs> uh, that's fine. I mean, I'm just, I wanted to be clear I, about the consequences. I know I'm not right. in a position to care. No problem. And I have right. a viable excuse for emotional damage. Yeah. So. Then, um, Maria, a particularly dashing uh, young man. Uh, comes up to you at the at the ball or excuse me at the uh, at the party Cloud at the mixer. Tight. Are his pants? <laughs> they're not. They're not particularly tight. Uh, the the guy is in uh, very very preen uh, dress uniform. His insignia show he's a junior lieutenant. Uh, he's like kind of young um, among everyone else, but uh, boy does he look good. Um, um, how much, like, so I don't know how, I don't know how, like, dances in the Soviet military go. They're like square like, dancing, but sexier. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds great. If that's um, humanly possible, I don't know. Jury's out on that. All of, all of my thought process of, like, mingling between, like, men and women in World War Two is all, like, filled with booze, so, like, is that... <laughs> Is that the same here? Yo, yeah. Okay. Um, I think Maria is, like, hammered. Okay. <laughs> um, I uh, think she's... I think she's been, like... She she wanted to go to the dance, but she's really shy and doesn't, like... Isn't you, really good. Like... Um, this guy's not a particularly good dancer. Um, but, um... He asks you... He asks you what your name... Uh, your name? Um, Maria... Yours? Maria. I, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your last name. Oh, uh, Batkina. Oh, Batkina. Oh, are you from Moscow? Yes. Oh, awesome. Um, I'm from, I'm from Moscow. So is my dad. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Junior Lieutenant, uh, 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 Kiryusha, uh, Popov. Um, which you probably know that name. Popov. You've heard the name Popov before. How the fuck do I spell that? P O P O V. Okay. Um, you don't. You don't. Um, do I know do where I, from? Do you want me to roll something? Yeah, I roll two d six. Um, take a minus one because you're drunk. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. I to mean, to basically eyeball. Sure. You're, Drunk doesn't help. No, not. You're trying to. I don't know. It we'll doesn't help see. here, but it might help later. I doubt if you're drunk, you're going to be able to reach. This something. is eyeball. This isn't reach out or guts. Five. Right? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's fine. Um, you don't. The name. The name sounds kind of familiar. Like you might have known him back in Moscow, uh, or something. But um, okay. yeah. No. Otherwise, uh, you know, he's handsome and well. You probably know. You you hit the appeal. He's handsome and well connected. Like like he's a fucking marriage material kind of guy. Okay. Um, um, he I would, he greatly enjoys dancing with you. He's a little handsy. Um, and asks, uh, you know, if you uh, want care to smoke. 
Uh, I think she. I think she. Yes, yeah, I think she just like agrees to sure. it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sure. Um. Yeah. I mean, you guys smoke for a little bit, and he talks about stuff, and he's like, "Man, like all the guys uh, talk so much shit about uh, about you girls, but um, you guys are awesome, uh, especially you. Like you're 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 so beautiful." Um, and kind of just lays she, like, down the um, the sweet stuff and goes to make out with you. Yeah, I think she's I think she's drunk and like. And how f- how far are you willing to go with this guy? Hmm. If you're if you're willing, we can it will, it will fade to black and you guys will will have done it. Now the question I have. I'm saying like he hmm. wouldn't he wouldn't like do anything weird or force himself on you or anything. Like just I want to know because of purposes of ramifications later. No, yeah. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, I think I, I think I go with it. Okay, um, you do it. And she, I think, yeah, she... I think this is the thing that she was, like, building up for. She was excited sure. for the dance, and she, like, got herself drunk because she was super nervous. Okay. Uh, I think we cut back to the dance... And I think around, um, we, we, we probably see a witch again dancing around. And I think you, you see the, um, the major of the 218th with, uh, you see his little name above it says Popov. And, and he's asking, has anyone seen his son? Uh, he, look, he, looks to, he looks to you. He's like, have you, uh, you, you're, you're obviously attractive and, and, uh, and, and beautiful, uh, Thank in, you, in that uniform. Have you, have you seen my son? Uh, handsome I'm young man. I don't know who Juni- your son is. Junior, he looks at you. Junior lieutenant, uh, uh, Kirusha. I apologize, sir. I have no idea who that is. Damn it! Useless. And, and he keeps <laughs> and he walks around looking for uh, his son. He doesn't know where his son is because his son is indisposed sexually. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so that's a thing. Yep, that's a thing. Um, <laughs> I Nick, know. I don't think you. Did, I don't think you. You gave me a reach out for your letter to the editor. Oh, okay. You wanted me to. I. I wasn't sure because, like, I didn't. Sorry. Reveal anything immensely significant. Yeah, but you didn't. Re- you didn't have to reveal a significant truth. You wrote a letter home to someone you care about. Which oh, okay. is another so criteria. It's, it's, that, it's an. It's an if or situation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Six. Five. Eh. Let's see where that goes. If I can, I don't think that the letter would be ineffective. Just from the fictional positioning of this, like you can. I, oh you no, can it's not ineffective. It's just. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, I know exactly what happens. Okay. You don't know. You don't know as a character what happens, mm. but I do. Um. Thanks, Adam. Yeah. Um. What did you reveal in the letter? Uh, nothing significant other than the fact that, like, you know, being on the front lines, I now know what it's like to watch a comrade die. Yep, okay. As opposed to, you know, it's different with, I thought it would be different yeah. with family and friends and neighbors, and it's it's no okay. different. Cool. Um, awesome. All right, other than that, uh, anything else anybody want to do during the night? Otherwise, we can cut. My night's busy, so. All right. Um, all right. Then it's the it's it's the morning. Um, people are kind of hungover, um, but everyone's like you know rise and shine or whatever. Time to eat, um, get some chow and stuff. Today's your it's and then we like see at the bottom of the screen it says like um, uh, final mission day. You know for training. So everything else is pretty much uh, your day. There's no more training classes. It's just all geared up to your practical practical uh, exam in the afternoon, which is an actual mission against the Germans. I hope you've got some good ideas for how to deploy uh, our troops there and who to assign Vedemaya to. Um, I guess who who gets moved into your um squad? I guess the section leader's discretion. Yeah. Um. Hmm. What do we not have yet? Um. 
Then I think the team of Vera and Polina get moved on. Okay. Uh, with Polina flying, Vera navigating. Okay. Uh, personal request. We've been going for like an hour and a half. Could we take a break before this? Before oh, yeah. Let's, okay, this? let's do it. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. All right. That's fine. Uh, let's, go, let's go to a break and then do our final mission here. That'd be cool. fun. All right, guys. See you guys in five minutes.